Some nine months after Harvey, Rockport Fulton still needs plenty of help, but the town is making sure its helpers have plenty of fun at the same time. Chris 6 News reporter Ashley Portillo explains. During the day, this group of volunteers is helping with recovery efforts in Rockport Fulton. We know that the city did get hit and it did take a toll on the city, this hurricane, and we're just trying to give out and help out. But when the work day is over, it's time to enjoy what the town has to offer. It's called volunteerism. Help out with tasks like repairing homes, installing sheetrock and insulation, and removing debris. And then enjoy activities like touring the town on a trolley visiting the parks and beaches, or dining in a nearby restaurant. We also want to give them an experience that Rockport Fulton is here, and we are going strong and becoming beautiful every day. Amy Montgomery, the long-term recovery specialist for Rockport Fulton, says although much progress has been made, there is still a long road ahead. And to give you an idea of just how much work still needs to be done here in Aransas County, this is a look at all of the unfinished jobs. And each one of these 400 sticky notes lets volunteer coordinators know what work needs to be done and where. Since September, volunteers completed over 3,500 jobs, but they're still being encouraged to lend a hand. This group of volunteer students from Texas A&M Commerce began working at 8 a.m but they say they don't mind the early morning wake up call. It's just stuff money can't buy. Uh, it just makes you feel good and it's always good to help others. Coming here, it's a really good experience because not only have I been helped, but I'm also giving back and I love giving back to others. Ashley Partillo, Chris Six News. The volunteers are housed at the Volunteer Reception Center, which holds about 300 people and provides three meals a day and showers. If you would like more information about helping out, find this story on our website, ChrisTV.com.